Jared Poland, Photo.com, and this is a product showcase of this thing, the Insta360 Flow by Insta360. Now, I took this thing to Paris. Why'd I take it to Paris? Because Insta360 asked me to make a product showcase and see how it worked out there in the real world, and that's exactly what I decided to do. Now, the funny thing is, it arrived a day before I left for Paris, so the first time using it was actually out there on the road. So you guys know we've been working with Insta360 for the last couple of years. They create 360 cameras. We did a whole product showcase on the Insta360 one inch, which I actually took to Paris as well and used it because it came in handy. They do webcams, which I use right here. I love the webcam because of the smart track technology and the fact that it can follow me around and it's 4K and looks good. That's awesome, and it works. And now they've added a gimbal, a three axis smart AI powered gimbal right here that does way more than just stabilize your footage. So there is going to be a montage in the real world of me using this Insta360 Flow in Paris so you can see it in action. That's the whole point and how you guys know I like doing my product showcases and showing you how things work is actually take it into the real world. I could sit here and spit out all the specs and all the features, but that doesn't mean anything unless you actually see it working. And so the way that I looked at this, when they said, hey, do you wanna try this out? I was like, sure, I could use a gimbal in my bag. Now I was going on vacation and sometimes I don't need to take the biggest setup just to get some video. Because if I'm creating social media content, if I'm doing Insta stories, if I'm doing reels, if I'm doing anything where I just want stabilization, but I want it to be better than me just holding my phone, I think something like this comes in handy. And that's why I pointed out to you as a photographer, as a social media coordinator, as someone who does video, sometimes you just need to do something quick and easy and have it still look great and be stable. And that's why I'm showing you something like this. So let me show you how to turn this thing on. It, it, it's easy, it's one step deploy, boom. It's on, it auto powers on. But hey, where's, where's my phone? How do I do it? Well, the phone is in my pocket. I've already put on the attachment. I like the fact that it doesn't come with a case. I hate putting my phone in a case, but there's an attachment here. This is magnetized. The first time I put it on there, I was like, oh my God, boom. It just clicks on like that. Now at first, I was a little hesitant because I'm like, well, this is just a magnet. Is it strong? Is it gonna be sturdy? Is my phone gonna fall off? And the answer to that question is no, because I got into a sidecar of a motorcycle. We were going super fast down the highway. I don't know that they call it a highway, but it was over cobblestones, and I held it super down low near the ground, and I trusted it, and it didn't fall off, and it's real easy to take off. You just pop it off when you're done. You go like this, you take it off. You wanna put it back on, you put it back on, and now it's attached. This is the Insta360 Flow. Real easy to use. It does more than just stabilize your footage, and we'll get to all of that in just a minute. But look, I double click this if I wanna go horizontal, which is how I shot it for the most part. Now, if I wanna to talk to the camera, I triple click on this button right here, and it rotates it to talk. Look, I can talk right to the good camera, because the better cameras are on the back. If I wanna send it back the other way, triple click again and it rotates. You'll learn this stuff really quickly because inside the app, it automatically connects when you turn it on. There's Shot Genie that helps you set up different shoots. It's real easy to use. In fact, when we use the Insta360 in the sidecar, because I got two sidecars in Paris, my friend got into one with the Insta360 one inch and I got in the other with this thing, the app picked up both. All I had to do was tap it and I picked the one that I wanted to use and everything is right there in the app. It's real simple, it's real easy, it's intuitive, it's right in front of you and it saves it all to your phone. So it's quick. That's the whole point that I'm trying to make here is that it's super quick. So anyway, let me put this down. Oh, check this out. Have you ever seen a smart gimbal do this? Oh, that's right, it has a tripod foot built right in. Now, you do have to make sure you're on something stable because look, it's just basic. But if you wanna set this up and you're like, oh, I wanna get a little taller, oh my God. It actually extends like this and it still stays stable. Even if you wanna get in front of this thing and you wanna do some sort of video, they, they give an example of playing basketball, that's something you could do where it tracks you. Now, one of the best features inside of this product is called Deep Track 3.0. Remember how the webcam could track me? All I had to do was put my hand up and it would track me? Yeah, that's Deep Track. 
This is Deep Track 3.0, where I can pick a subject and it stays locked on them and tracks them automatically. So I can touch the screen, track a subject, hold the gimbal out, and it's gonna follow them even if they're running. Now, I didn't tell you why I was in Paris in the first place. The reason I was there was my friend was running the Paris Marathon, and I thought it would be fun to go to Paris. And being that I had this thing to test out, it made it even more fun. So I could track my friend as she was coming around the corner to finish the race, or I could track people as they started. That's the basic thing. But there's actually one time where I got a really quick clip. We were in the sidecar, I was in the sidecar, and we're coming up on the Eiffel Tower. I go ahead and I click on the Eiffel Tower for it to track, and we go straight and it tracks it, and then the guy makes a right, and I forget about filming, because I'm like, oh, it's already done. And I'm just holding this, and it starts rotating and tilting up behind me. Why? Because it was still tracking the Eiffel Tower behind me. But one of the best features about the Deep Track 3.0 is the fact that if a subject gets in the way of the person that you're tracking, it still knows that they're back there. And as soon as that distraction goes away, it picks right back up on the original subject and starts tracking them again. Or if they leave the frame for some reason, it kind of knows that. And when they come back in, it picks them up once again. Now, one of the things that I'm always concerned about with something like this, because it's so small, is how's the battery life? Well, they say you get all day battery life. I didn't run out of battery life. In fact, after using it for a full day, it was only down one bar on the battery. And another cool thing is this doubles as a charging bank. So it comes with a cable, so you could charge your Android phone or you could charge your iPhone while using it. Because I did use a lot of battery power because not only was I recording the screen, but I was also filming using the app. So when I record the screen, so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing, that's gonna chew up more battery power. But the fact that you can plug in and charge at the same time and keep your battery going because this works as a, a battery bank is another cool added bonus. Now on the back of the flow, there's a smart wheel. It's a quick way to change from say the full auto mode to the follow mode to the FPV mode. You just swipe your finger one way, you swipe your finger the other way. It's touch sensitive. It does take a minute to get used to how to do it properly, but once you get it, it's real easy to switch when you're on the go. Like when I was using the FPV mode when I was in the sidecar, I wanted to get that feeling of a drone flying through the city, and that's exactly what happened. It allows it to flow and be stable, and it looks like I'm flying a racing drone through the streets of Paris. That's built in right here. Like I said, a lot of great features that might come in handy for you. Speaking of great features, have you ever seen like hyperlapse videos? They're really cool, and if you ever wondered how to do them, it's actually pretty simple when you use this. You go into the app, you switch over to time shift. The first time I tried it was in a pretty busy place. It was the starting line for the Paris Marathon. And I'm like, look, it's the Arc de Triomphe. I, I, wanna, I wanna do a hyperlapse walking towards that. So I locked onto it and it wasn't exactly perfect because well, there were a lot of people, so I had to weeble wobble to go around them, but it's super stable. Then I had someone coming up being like, are you Jared Poland? I'm like, that's me. I'm like, I'm walk with me, I'm filming, and I didn't want to ruin the hyperlapse. So that was one that I did, and it looks really good because it just, it speeds it up and it looks smooth and awesome. But of course, I had to try it with the Eiffel Tower. So I did it twice. I did it once on the sidewalk, which worked pretty well, but I had to go around different people because they're in the way. And then I did the other thing where I walked down the center line of traffic. I did have a friend behind me as a spotter to go down. I did it for you guys. I didn't do it because I'm a dumb American and it's like, look at me, look at me. I'm in the middle of the street. There were other people in the middle of the street doing selfies. So I walked down the center gingerly and slowly to get the hyperlapse and it's incredible. Like for us to use in a video like this, it really makes our content look better. But in the real world, where could you use this? If you're a realtor and you wanna showcase the house at the end of the block, you can literally walk down this street and create this and you put that on social media and people are gonna be like, wow, that was awesome. You could do it vertical, remember? Just double tap this and it's gonna go back to vertical where you double tap it again and it's gonna go to horizontal. You can do it either way that you want, but if you're filming something for a house, just think of it, you just go straight to it. Or if there's a monument in your city that you wanna showcase, you can do it like that. Or if you're doing, say, photos for someone at a restaurant and you're like, you know what? Do you need some extra social media clips? And you go and make this time lapse for them, they're gonna be like, whoa, we need more footage, which, which leads us into something else and why I think this is important for you to at least consider 
consider picking up. One, because it's only 159 bucks. It's not that expensive to have and it makes your life easier. But if you go to that restaurant person, you're like, you know what? I think you should do a tour of your restaurant or give us the new menu. Well, guess what? There's a built-in cold shoe in the bottom of the flow right here. You can put a wireless mic in here, put the wireless mic on the person, plug the mic into the phone so that you can get the audio much cleaner than if they just tried screaming it and you can follow them around as they tell you the menu, walk around the restaurant, walk around the house, showing you, giving you a tour. It's just simple. Like I said earlier, sometimes it's just better to be simple and do it easy than try to make it overly complicated because what people need today is they need something that's really good looking, nice and stable, sounds good, and then is easy to get out into the world. So there's another feature called Dolly Zoom. You know, like what Hitchcock used to do? Well, he did it much different on a dolly and now we just go into dolly zoom and you can see how it looks. Like I said, this thing is packed with a lot of features. I didn't hit them all because it's about using it in the real world. But one of the other things I like is that if you wanna do a FaceTime call and you don't wanna hold your phone, you can just set it up like this and it can track you for a FaceTime call. It's still gonna track you when you're doing that. So that's a cool feature. But you know I was in Paris. You've seen some sample footage so far but let's show you a montage of what I captured using the Insta360 Flow. All right, so we're testing out the Insta360 Flow as we go through Paris on a sidecar. Here's the starting line, it's all the way up here. This thing is awesome. It just follows me really well. But I wanna to get to the starting line. So for something that came in the mail the day before I went away, and the fact that I took it to Paris and it just worked, and it made these clips look really good, I mean, it's stuff that helps our videos. I like this. And for 160 bucks, I think this should be something that you at least consider. If you're a realtor, if you're a photographer like me, if you shoot video, just put this in your bag. You never know when you're gonna need to get something quick for a client, for social media, or just for yourself. Everybody's a social media coordinator at this point, right? We all do it, but this can make it look better. This can make your job much easier. And this is something that I do recommend you check out. Now, if you do wanna pick it up, there is a link down below that you can buy it direct from Insta360. So give it a shot, take a look at it. Let me know what you think down below. But this is something that I'm gonna keep in my bag because look, when I go to all the different baseball stadiums and I wanna do a walking tour of the stadium and maybe a walking and talking tour, I can get it done with something like this much easier than setting up a bigger rig and it's still going to look fantastic. So thank you guys very much for watching this product showcase. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya.